Hello everyone, welcome back to CPP for Beginners. It's the website's actually going to be changing domain and changing address and I'm going to be changing the name of the series, so it's really uh, the the title doesn't really matter much anymore. A uh, new website should be coming up in a couple of weeks. All right. So, here's uh here's what we've got going on. Last lesson, I jumped straight into nested for loops, and I kind of regretted it. Um, I didn't plan it out very well, and by the time I finished recording the episode, it takes me like an hour to record an episode, despite them being 15 minutes. Uh, by the time I finished recording it, I knew I had to put it up. It was, um, it was my birthday yesterday, and I needed to put up two before that. So I, you know, just didn't have anything else planned at the time, and by the time I finished recording it, it was too late to make another before I took a self-imposed day off. So here's the lesson that I think should have gone before last lesson. Um, we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, what's known as casting numbers. Um, I'm not sure if I've touched on that yet, but it's extremely important. And we're also going to be using uh, a for loop to actually do something, which I also feel is important. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, to begin with, we're going to take a for loop. I don't know, we're going to declare some variables. Let's start with int and let's make a total. And again, I'm always against using total variables, but in this case we're going to allow it. We're going to use uh, let's say countdown I suppose I'll make that two words and we'll set both of these equal to zero just to be nice and let's leave it at that for now. Let's not let's not get too crazy and actually, you know what, we'll make it double and we'll call it average, and then I'll show you how to make this program without using the, uh, the variable there. So, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to first do a system.out.println, and we're going to ask the user to enter a number between, say, 1 and 1,000. And then we're going to allow for countdown to be, oh, and I should add i. Eh, actually, I won't. I'll just use a for loop. Okay. So our next thing is going to be input dot next int. And we're just going to set that equal to countdown. Sorry, I did it in sort of reverse order there. Um, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to check to make sure that they entered a number uh, that's within one in a thousand. So what we can actually do here is use a do loop and then we'll put our thing down here and then we'll say while uh, count down is less than one or count down is greater than 1000. So in this case it's going to check to see that both of these conditions are true and it's going to run this at least once. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a for loop and we'll say for int i equals 0 i is less than countdown I plus plus. And so we can do it this way, or alternatively, we could have done for I equals countdown, I is greater than uh, zero, I minus minus, but that's just the other side of this. And what we'll do is we'll say total plus equals I. And then we're just going to do a system dot out dot insulin of i. So this way it's going to show on a, on a line uh, the current value of i every time it progresses through this loop. 
and we're going to be updating a variable named total with the current contents of i every time through the loop. Now, assuming that we entered, you know, a thousand, it would iterate through the loop a thousand times, and we would have the total of every number between one and one thousand. So what we're going to do here is we're then going to take uh, a couple of different numbers. Now, since I used i right here, I'm not able to use that outside the loop, so I'm going to have to set average, and I'm, I'm intentionally making an error here for those of you who have done Java or C++ before. Equal to total divided by countdown. Now, if you know what this is, you can pause it, and, and if you know what the problem is with this line, you can pause it and yell at the screen and see if you got it right in a minute. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a system.out.println, a couple lines further down, and I'm going to output the total of all the numbers between 1 and and then we put a space and hit plus, count down, another plus, another set of quotes, and then we say um, is, another space, another plus, and we say total, another plus, and then we can say and the average is, another space, another plus, average, and we'll just leave it at that and toss in a semicolon. So if we give this a run, and pray that it works, I enter in a number, let's say I enter in a, let's use the number 4 just to start off. Uh, we can assert that 1 plus 2 is 3, uh, plus 3 is uh, 6, plus 4 is 10, so our average should be 2.5, and our total should be 10. So we hit 4. And the average is 1.0. Hmm. That's a problem, isn't it? So, number one, as you can see, we're starting at zero. So, we can alter that by doing i plus one. Or, we can start at one and go less than or equal to countdown. Which is what I would prefer to do in this case, because it's a little bit easier. Now, Assuming that we run this again, you'll see that we have 1.0 there. We give it another run. Same number, 4. And now the average is 2.0. That can't be right. It's supposed to be 2.5. And the reason why, for those of you who are probably killing yourselves, you know, yelling at your screen by now, is because both of these numbers, total and countdown, are integers. And integers cannot have any decimal points. They can't, if you divide uh, 4 by 3, it's actually equal to 1 and not 1.3 repeating. So what we need to do is we need to do what's called cast a number. And the way that we cast a number and what casting a number is, is when we treat a number as though it's a different type. Uh, so in this case, we can treat the numerator as a, a different type, but I believe that you only need to treat the denominator as a different type. Um, I could be wrong about that, that could just be C or C++, but if you're just doing division, just do the denominator. And what you do is you type double, and then you put in parentheses what you want to be treated as a double. And I believe it's yelling at me because I didn't put this in parentheses. So, okay, now we give this yet another run. We'll enter the number 4, and now we have the expected 2.5, and the numbers 1 through 4 are the ones being used. Um, so, just to give you guys uh, another run through of this, if we use a bigger number, let's say 827, it'll give us uh, a much larger number. I'm not sure if that's actually the average of this number. I'm hoping it is. So hopefully what you guys have sort of noticed about this is that we, um, we have a, a way of using fours to greatly simplify what we could have used for ifs and for other uh, methods of thinking. 
so if you've grasped fours up to this point and you came from last episode, you guys are really all set. Um, if you're watching this before episode 11, then, you know, this should be a really good uh, intro for you. And if you're a little confused by last lesson and understood this, then go back and try uh, 11 again. It'll hopefully make sense. Um, I, I feel hesitant about teaching more than this in one lesson and then assigning homework on it. I don't feel like that would be right. Um, and I'm already at 10 minutes in. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to talk a little bit about other things that I haven't covered yet. Um, just a note, you can cast any type of number to any other type of number, just like this. You can say int, you know, x, and uh, it'll treat that number as though it was a int. And actually, I don't think that you need the parentheses there. I could be wrong. Okay, so yeah, you don't need the parentheses there. Um, it's actually the other way around in some other coding languages, but that doesn't matter to you guys. Um, you can do any of these. So you could do long x, or I'm sorry, wrong way around again, long x, and you know, whatever. And that's just casting numbers. It's really just telling the compiler treat whatever type this is as this type until you're done with the computation. And that can be really useful when you're using larger numbers, um, but maybe you just want to use an int to multiply. So there's, there's a lot of different little things that you can uh, get out of this. Now, another thing that I'm hoping that you guys have been wondering about is why we haven't really been dealing with... Uh, any character based input. And the reason why is because I haven't exactly introduced strings yet. So I'm just going to show you guys a really brief, brief, brief introduction of strings. So we're going to declare a string and call it hello. And we'll set it equal to uh, hello world. And now that's a proper string. Now, if I were to simply say system.out.println, I have no idea why, but I really can't spell that. And we'll output hello. I'm just going to comment out everything between here and here. So, all right. Um, just need a semicolon there. So if I just run this, it'll just output hello world. So that's the simplest way that we can use a string. But strings also have a lot of cool functionality to them. Um, we're not going to be getting into what a lot of what strings can do for a while, but we can say something like this. The length of the string, and then we can say, uh, uh, we'll just say hello. We won't get into how to do that yet, is and then we'll say plus hello dot length. And when we give that a run, it'll tell us how many characters have been used here. So hello world is 10 plus the space is 11. And then we can maybe add another plus and say, and contains the word slash characters. And so we give that another run, and as you can see, it sort of outputs what we want. So I just wanted to touch on that briefly. Um, the homework is going to be described in an external file uh, that I'm going to be tossing up on IDE1. Um, I'm going to be correcting the homework that was assigned with episode number six this weekend. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, ask on the forums. They won't be there too much longer because I'm moving the whole website because of the sh crappy host. Pardon my near French. And all in all, everything's looking up and looking wonderful. I hope you guys have had uh, an enjoyable day and enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, let me know, and I'll make more like it. Have a good night, everyone.